All right, so for children with certain food allergies, we know Halloween night is such a fun night for kids, but it can be really tricky to navigate. So how can you keep your little cowboy or princess safe this year? Joining us today is Dr. Lisa Salmon from Akron Children's Hospital with more on how you can make sure that your house is a great candy stop for everyone and really include kids who have some other issues that they just can't dive into all the sticky gooey candy. It's great, great to have you here. Thank Welcome. you. It's great to be here today. I'm really excited to talk about food allergy safety and especially the Teal Pumpkin Project too. Yeah, so this has really gained a lot of steam, a lot of momentum over the last couple of years, yes. uh, 10 years or so. Talk about the Teal Pumpkin. So the Teal Pumpkin Project started in 2012 by um, a local group in East Tennessee and it now has been adopted by a national organization called the Food Allergy Research and Education right. Organization or FAIR. And really the whole pro um, purpose of the project is to provide an inclusive environment for children with food allergy. Because many of us take for granted if you don't have a food allergy, those foods can certainly cause a lot of harm for children and it does allow people to have the bucket or even have a sign on your door that shows that, hey, I have an alternative to candy and often usually these are non-food alternatives. It's so nice to see too, a lot of neighborhoods will come together and maybe send out a little letter and say, hey, let's all get on board with this so then kids don't have to be picking and choosing between which home and it can be confusing and sometimes it's even getting a little dark at night now when kids are trick-or-treating. Yes. So if a whole block can get together or a whole neighborhood uh, or development, that's a wonderful thing to do. And you can purchase these now at, like I see them on a, in any craft store like at Michael's or Joanne's oh, yeah. or something Target, like that. Oh yeah, Target there and they're yeah. only about a dollar. Yeah, so so. It's, so you just basically put that out, and that is a sign, like at your front door, that you are f uh, allergy friendly. Yes, that your treats won't have peanuts and that kind of stuff. In Correct. It. Yeah, and you basically kind of want to provide allergen-free items, and you know the op option. Great, there's great options. There's a lot of toys that you can provide. You can buy things in bulk. And kids probably appreciate these, and not every family wants tons and tons of candy that you have in abundance. But some examples that you could do for young kids, we have toy cars. You know, kids love the cars. Also, just to encourage reading, uh, bookmarks are also a popular option to provide for children. Slinkies or other fidget toys, especially if a child has sensory needs, are always a popular favorite. And even little things like notepads, pens, you could even add bracelets in there, anything you can as creative crafts. People do appreciate creativity, even if you don't have a food allergy. Absolutely, and even if, right, because yes. the candy goes away, but this stuff can stay, and these kids can really play for it. And for yes. the same amount of money as a candy bar, you can get some of these great things at some of the local stores. All right, we do have some information that we want to put up there real quick, too, uh, on your screen of ways that you can be really prepared and kind of help out with things with allergy and trick-or-treating. Uh, we talk about being prepared, but uh, avoid the homemade edible items, and we always say that that's really important. Yeah, it's amazing how many people take for granted how pervasive food allergens can be, even in your kitchen. So if you claim, yeah. oh, I don't have any peanut exposure, there could still be isolates that could cause cost contaminated for patients. Yeah, I think parents are just would want to stay away from any of that kind yes. of stuff too, just for all, all road safety. But yes. bring an EpiPen and you said flashlight, that's great information. Yes. Talk about the importance of reading labels. Reading labels is crucial. You never want to assume a food is allergy safe unless you check the label. So most of the labels should have the ingredients or contains and that should tell you of the top nine allergens that are present. But what many people make the mistake is allergens can be hidden in common candy items. So just for example, mm -hmm. in candy corn, what gut allergen would you think would be in candy corn? I wouldn't think that there would be any. And you know, before I is was it an a allergist, dye or no? I did not know. But this, so this is Brock's. This contains egg whites. And oh, yes. Really? Can you believe that? No. It's part of the preparation process. And this is another brand, Zachary, which contains, believe it or not, sesame oil. Are you see? Yeah, see, I, mm -hmm. I would have thought that that would be a safe option other than maybe a dye or it's something like that. It's just like, like sugar. That. But yeah. yeah, no, they do contain hidden allergens and not many people are aware of those hidden dangers. So the importance of reading labels. Yes. We've got some great information for you too. And what, what along, what, what did you, you brought this So I do for, have a good reason, point sure. to make. Okay. Sometimes um, if you have a food allergy, you're probably very used to understanding your safe foods and what foods are yeah. not safe. So if you have a life-size candy bar, for instance, Laffy Tank, 
taffy. The larger size contains egg white, but the smaller size doesn't have egg. It actually contains oh, okay. soy. Oh! So there's a difference. So I do want to encourage families to not make assumptions that big versus small, there can be different ingredients in them. So you do want to be careful with reading labels. Great point. Real quick, you brought this, so it's for a reason, I'm sure. Yes, so if you don't want to do a non-food item and you just prefer to probably stick with something that's a little bit more allergy friendly, Yum Earth also is a good brand. It does contain, um, you know, good allergy, mostly allergy free, but I will say that there are over 200 foods that could be classified as an allergy. So families still may have issues with these, but many of these options are safer for children with food allergies. That's fantastic. Thank you for coming here yes, and talking with us about this, Dr. Today. Sam. And appreciate yes. it. From Akron Children's Hospital. For more information also on how you can make sure that you're mm -hmm. keeping kids safe in your neighborhood, your own children and family and friends this Halloween, we've got some good info for you. Courtesy of these guys, go to fox8.com. Thanks yeah. again. Appreciate Thank it, Thank you. Appreciate it.